How cool are brothers and sisters? Welcome to Aqua Brain TV. On this show, we're going to chat Studio 200, Surfing and Snow Skating with Angelica Clemmer. Coming to us from Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. You can find Jell at Jell underscore Z on social media and jellclemmer.com. That's at Jell underscore Z on social media. Jell, how's it going? I'm doing great. Things are good. I'm in Delaware right now on the East Coast. Um, just opening up my gallery for the summer. Uh, just, you know, getting ready. Been working really hard. I've been here for about a month and I've been working like every day, all day, just, which is good because last winter I took, pretty, like, took it pretty easy. Well, right. So you you actually haven't uh, haven't been open for a couple of years, right? Yeah, yeah, I closed after COVID. Uh, I had another gallery at, in a different location and I wanted to move to a different spot because the location wasn't very good and I felt that the rent was kind of expensive too. And uh, so I decided to move to a different location. And then like right when that happened, COVID happened. Oof. So it was either take it then and or not take it i had the option so i decided not to take it oh, and man. i think it was it was very because you know at the time we didn't know what was going to happen True. right so it was totally like um i think like a good omen it was totally like luck that guided <laughs> me to not take it and so i didn't do anything like that following summer i had um, my art in different locations but i didn't have my own place so i didn't have a studio which is really hard to work if you don't have a studio so the following year, I joined a gallery downtown here, which was cool, um, but it was still too small. I still need a studio space, right? So I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking and can't find anything. Um, I'm about to give up, right? I'm like, I'm done. I'm just yeah. not going to get a studio here in Delaware. You know, I'll just do something else, whatever. And right when I said that, a friend of mine that had this location was like, hey, if you want it, take it. The keys are right here. And so I took it and here we are today. It needed a lot of work, you know, so um, we just kind of put our heads down. My boyfriend, Scotty, helped me. Um, we just put our heads down and just worked for about a month, I would say, three weeks to a month, just like every day, all day. And I don't know, it, it looks pretty good now. It's different. Nice, nice. Very nice. Yeah. So how is your, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take you back here a couple months. How was your winter? Winter was awesome. Like, okay, it started very slow because the snow wasn't so good. And here we are trying, you know, we're powder hunters, right? So we're like, all right, okay. There's no, not much powder happening. We're still getting out there every day. And then um, finally it just starts snowing. You know, but while we're still snow skating, you know, snow skating is so fun and you can do it, you know, with any type of snow. So right, it was that's a tool. cool. Spent a lot of time at the park, you know, <laughs> um, just hanging out with the boys mainly, which was super fun. We had like a couple of days that were uh, like uh, Hovland days with the crew. We had a uh, Yuki from Japan and we had some other people come and it was awesome just being able to have everyone together just shredding the mountain like crazy it was super fun and no get together this year right no uh, uh no yeah no we decided not to do it again because of covid because if we had that new strain when you know we needed like about three months to get, put it together yeah so uh we didn't know what was going to happen with the new strain so we decided we were like you know what let's just not do it this year and we'll just go full force next year so that's the goal that's the plan to just do it next year again Nice. Very cool. Fun. Very cool. And yeah. that's in Midturn. That's in Midturn, Colorado, which is about, I would say like three miles from Vail, or four miles from Vail and uh, same from Beaver Creek. So like we're cool. right in the middle. It's pretty right cool. On, you can right actually, on. yeah, you can ski, like you can ride home from Vail to Midturn. Can't so beat it's pretty that, cool. Right? Yeah. You can't beat it. So it's, <laughs> it's like a little back country, but it's real mellow. So everyone yeah. can do it. It's really cool. <laughs> right on. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I know last time we were mainly talking about snow skating stuff, and this time you've got this whole other side to you where you're cranking out pieces of art and you're surfing and yeah, 
And that's super cool. Uh, so thanks. You just had your grand opening. Tell me a little bit about that. All right. So we had a big party this past Saturday to open up the gallery. I invited all of my friends, of course, and um, we just kind of like put it together and it was so fun. Everyone came like I think we had like 75 people plus that showed up to the gallery opening. Um, a lot of people that I didn't know came to like my I have collectors. I've been doing art for about like I would say like t over 10 years now. And this is what I do for a living. So um, okay. I had a lot of my collectors come, which was really cool. They were wow, all excited. You have collectors. I have collectors. Yes, yes. <laughs> That's amazing. That collect my art. It's cool. I mean, they keep me going. You know what That's I mean? Awesome. Like, so do you I do... Do... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. What? <laughs> well, I was going to say, so then you must do like special, special requests, special orders. Absolutely. I do commissions all the time. I do murals, commissions, commissions murals. Um, I try to stay away from the murals because it's a lot of work for me and I have to go places. So I have to leave my, my studio and, you know, but I definitely do murals too. And um, so, yeah, I stay busy year round. Um, definitely summers are my strong months for art. Uh, the beach here is very, you know, busy on the okay. East coast. So, and I am a surf artist. I started doing surf art. That's how my career in, in art started. I got wow. picked up by, uh, yeah, like um, I got sponsored by a, co a paint company and they saw my art on Instagram, I believe. And they were just like, hey, like we are sponsoring artists, you know, blah, blah, blah. So they sent me on tour with like Hurley and Spy. And I started working with like a bunch of companies and just travel around the country on doing events. So that's kind of how it started. And then from there, it just took off. So, yeah, like I've been doing it for a while. And it's cool. Like now I have collectors. <laughs> yeah. That's fascinating. So, so you yes. actually surf as well. Yes. I love surfing. Like this is like, I mean, like my, I'm totally a like hardcore surfer. I check every day, you know, it's Delaware. We do get some good swells in the fall because of the hurricanes, but this year they didn't dredge. So there's a lot of sandbars all over the place. So I think the summer is going to be a good summer. Well, very I, cool. Do you have limited hours then during like when the good surfing is, or do you have people that kind of watch the, watch the gallery for you when you're, yeah, like, what's well, your plan? My, right. My plan is to open by appointments in the morning and then I'll open the gallery from five to 10 at night. So that's the goal. I'm, I'm planning to be here. You know, like, I think people want to meet the artist. So it's hard to sell art if you're not here. I mean, besides like people that would just come in and buy it, but like, I feel like it's a lot cooler. It's a better experience if I'm here selling it. Um, so yeah, I'm planning on working sense. five to 10. Yeah. That five to sense. 10 is not bad. Five to 10. And that's uh studio 200. 200. And yeah. what's, uh, what's your location? We are on 200 uh, Rehoboth Avenue. So we're right. on the main Avenue. Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. That's how you spell it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 200. Sure that yeah, and that's, 200 Rehoboth Avenue. Which it's the third block from the boardwalk. So it's a pretty happening location. I'm, I'm excited. It should be good. Cool. Now, is there is there a way people can, do you have a website? Or is there a way that people can um, find I your work? Took my, I have a website. I took it down right now because we're building it for the gallery. But um, it's usually Jill Z Art and Surf. That's what I have. Or jellclemmer.com. It all goes to my whatever websites i'm doing okay cool so what so now while while it's down now people people watching this you know a couple of years from now or whatever are, are right the, the sites up and it's going but right now it's instagram and what's uh yeah. what's your instagram uh gel z gel underscore z cool and then i saw i saw that um do you have one for the studio as well i just opened one up it's a uh, gel z studio 200 all right, cool. Very cool. Yep. So it's a lot of work to do a lot of <laughs> Instagrams. But I'm getting to it. I'm gonna have yeah. to hire someone, I think. Yeah, right. And yeah. And then once those breaks start happening, you're like, all right, where does my yep, time exactly. go? And then my and then, out surfing sign is going on the door. <laughs> <laughs> you should put that out surfing sign up on your Instagrams too. Yeah, yeah, just... absolutely. It's funny, you know, I feel like the art, I mean, I've always painted, right? I mean, my whole life. Um, I went to school for graphic design 
just nothing to do with like fine art, but um, I feel like the the art has always been been like a, a a way to get to the mountain and a way to get to the surfing. You know, it, I love doing it, so it's not really like a job, but at the same time, you know, it does turn into a job. And but it's always been to get to the mountain, you know, and go surfing. So I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna just work. Like, <laughs> Well, that's, that's very cool. I thought, yeah. I thought, uh, I thought doing video and making films and stuff. I thought that was going to be my ticket to right. the uh, to the mountains. And uh, you know, I was, uh, yeah. Art, art, art is a better way. I think if you, yeah, if yeah, art's good. Art. I mean, I feel super blessed because I know a lot of artists that you know have a hard time selling their stuff. I just, I think like I got lucky somehow, somewhere. And my art just sells all the time. Like I seriously don't have like a lot of art left over from like I paint something and it's all gone all the time. It just keeps moving. So I'm super blessed for sure. So I want to talk a little bit about the the art that you the art pieces that I've seen that you you do and right. And then if you can just explain a little bit of your process, you know what paints you work with right. and like what your because I know you do. I don't know if it's like, I'm just guessing here, but it's like, right. is it, do you use like sponges for some stuff? Or right. Like okay. So I'm always collecting things that I find, say like, I find like a little cardboard that has little holes with stars. I'll save that little caps. I'll save them. You know, I'm always trying to create with things that I find on, on the street, basically, you know, it's kind of funny, but uh, I, I use acrylics, uh, spray paint, plutonium paint. They're like kind of like my sponsors in a way because like they hook me up with good prices for my paint, uh, board sticks also. And, um, and then I'll go find whatever I can find that I feel is good quality paint, right? Um, sucky paint sucks, you know, it makes everything worse. So I'm always like telling artists, just get good paint. It's going to make a huge difference. Um, so I, I use my spatula, brushes, my fingers, you know, uh, I feel the goal for me is to create techniques. I don't want to be copying anyone. Everything I try to make is super original. Everything comes from the inside out. People are, ask me, how do I get inspired? I surf and snow skate. I hike. I hang out with my, you know, like good friends, quality people. Those are the things that inspire me. And I don't need to go copy that. It's all inside. You know what I mean? It comes from the inside. So it's usually pretty fresh and I feel like the techniques are fun and that's, I really, I, I just go with the flow, you know, I, I'll start yeah, painting. I mean, right. Like I'll just start painting and I'm like, Oh, maybe I'll try this little leaf over here, you know, spray paints, you know, and it turns yeah, out pretty cool. It does. It's very unique. It gives a, a unique um, uh, element, I guess, to your, right, to your paintings. Right. So, Thank you. So I, uh, do you have any more of the punk cats? Left? Oh my God, I, they are in Colorado at the local tattoo shop in Vail. Okay. I made, I made them for, uh, for them because uh, I oh, have really? like, uh, yeah, I have a couple of places that, you know, when I leave, they want me to leave art, you know, so I left cool. them all the punk kitties. Yeah, <laughs> those were cool. <laughs> and I noticed that you've, um, at least for the last couple of years that I've, I've been aware of, of your right. art. Uh, you you tend to do uh, rock stars. Yeah, I love music. That's one of my other favorite things I love to do. I play the bass uh, and the guitar. I've always played guitar. Like my parents, I think, took me to like guitar lessons when I was like five. You know, so I've always music has always been in my life, um, and I love all kinds of music. You know, so I'm always trying to paint like musicians. And things like just because I like their music, you know. So if I like your music, I'm probably gonna paint you. Do you find that those are those go pretty quick? Yes, you, absolutely. Who's who's absolutely. your most most requested? Uh, probably uh, the guy from the Grateful Dead, Jerry Garcia, and uh, Jimi Hendrix. Um, who else? Uh, who else is pretty popular? Uh, Queen. Like how, um, how many how many Hendrixes have you painted? Oh my Hendri god! Hendrixes? I probably done like ten. Oh really? And I always try to do different ones, you know. So that's cool. Um, have you done you the bandana? Yeah, the guitar, yeah, yeah, the playing yeah. Guitar. Yes, yes, I totally have. <laughs> nice. I totally have. 
<laughs> yeah. Um, what's uh, uh, David Bowie? That's another favorite of, of people. So uh, Ziggy Stardust, that's a good one. Yeah. Is that, is that the one with the star eye or yeah whatever? that's when he has like the paint going. and oh, all yeah, that yeah. stuff yeah <laughs> yeah people like 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 him a lot and so and cool. then and then i i noticed I mean, we're kind of going to switch gears and we're going to go back to your your opening and right. and i guess your your gallery but you're also so you painting is kind of in the family is that right yes absolutely my father an artist his entire life so he's been a like huge guide, you know, and like he's guided me. He tells me it's like that totally sucks. You need to improve that, uh -oh. you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. He's well, that's very good, cool. It's so good. So good. We're, we're to a point where he likes everything I do now. Oh, wow. So it's, it makes really? me feel really everything. good. Yeah. Yeah. Every He's like, oh, that's good. That's good. Or if anything, he'll be like, oh, it needs a little bit of something, you know, <laughs> like, uh, yeah. but it's no longer like you need to work on your brush strokes or you need to work on your technique. Like it's, he's, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah. But he's been painting his whole life. Uh, he's traveled all over the world. Um, yeah. He's a legit fine artist. So it's cool to have him, you know, around to tell me what, like, what's up basically keeps me so in check. And you're, and you're hanging, you're selling his art as well yeah. in your gallery. Um, yep. I have uh, my dad's art. Are there and any have, other artists? Yes, I have a couple of friends. Uh, one of my really good friends, like a childhood friend, Amanda Pace, she does um, uh, mosaics. And she lives in the Bahamas half of the year. She was living, now she's full time over there, but she was doing half of the year there and half of the year here uh, and bringing all this beautiful stuff from there. So she's been blowing up locally too. And internationally, she goes to Spain and wow. just travels all over the world. Yeah, it's really cool to see her growth. Uh, so we have some of her art here now too, which is great. And then I have Bonnie Preziosi, which is a big time surfer uh, from Ocean City, Maryland. She does waves and really super cool, like just very colorful stuff that people like around here. And then I have this other guy, another friend, Tommy Stefano, and he does spray paint art, which is super cool. And I have an older lady, um, Joyce Belinsky, and she paints, she's very abstracty for how, you know, she's older, but very hip, very hip. <laughs> so we're, yeah, yeah. So there's, super, there's diversity there. Totally, totally. But I feel like it all complements everything, you know? Very so cool, very cool. you walk in here and it's just like, it flows. So it's cool. Nice. I'll I give you a little flow. tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can give you a little tour before we end the chat. Okay. Uh, that's cool. a deal. Were you doing some sort of like skateboard graphic? Yes. Have you ever done skateboards? I do skateboards all the time. That's like another thing I love painting is just skateboards. So I uh, I usually just paint them. And um, I, I did like a whole collection of Egyptian art. Okay, maybe that's year. what I was. Yeah, and those one, that, that was a, that had good reception. People really liked them. Um, a lot of people collect decks. So um, that those people were on it. And uh, I sold all of them. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. I think I have like I've made a few more, but I need to make more. Oh my gosh! Sure. I just remembered. It's the animals. Yeah. Oh my god! Yes, because that's like a big, isn't that a? That's a pretty like the art, the artists, the musicians, and and the animals, right? And the animals, the, yeah. The animals like are like another. I love animals, you know. Like I'm just into nature. I'm like I'm I'm like totally into like Colorado animals and then like ocean stuff. So. I've been definitely focusing on doing my techniques, a new way of painting animals, kind of. So I feel like those do very well, too. Like people so, really like those. So I remember seeing uh, I, it was just recently you posted a, some sort of a bird. Was it a hawk yeah. or an eagle? Or uh, something? I've done I've done I've done hawks. I, I didn't I did an eagle before I left Colorado. Yeah, golden I think it was eagle. a golden eagle. Yeah. 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 Yep. That's old. Is it and, gone? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, and uh, I just did a pelican that oh. that needs a new, that needs a home. Needs it a needs home. A, it's, I just showed it on the opening, and people loved it. So, so what are a couple? Um, give me a couple that are available right now. Now, probably when you're watching this, they're not available, but right, just just so we can just uh, like that right you've got now, on the shelf right now. I have a pelican, and I have an osprey, which is like an eagle, an ocean eagle that we have locally here. So that's why I painted it. I have a little boat and we take it out on the canal 
and you can see like thousands of these eagles are just everywhere so i was like i need to paint one like they're everywhere so that's that's what i have hold on let's see if i can show you i don't know there's a oh look at the sun that's sick hold is on that your, hold on i'm gonna is go that around. your friend from uh no that's that you? mine too that's, that's mine. awesome it's very cool is that the pelican i'm looking at Yep, that's the pelican. Hold on, I have to. And there's the leave osprey the, too. The back room here. Um, so I don't know what you can see, but I have the sun, the the sunset. Boat. Yeah. The pelican. Oh, look at that. Um, some other stuff here. Uh, we have this whale is going. It that that one found a home, so it needs to be picked up. Um, oh, then we have the a ukulele. Or yeah, what? that's Amanda. That she does the oh. mosaics. Oh, look at that! Right, wow. they're so beautiful. Uh, a lot of the glass is from the Bahamas too. Wow, which makes it super cool. Is and that this like is all beach her work. discovery? Yeah, right. Yeah. That and then here's some of my dad's work too. The Pope. Oh. The Pope. We have some uh, other stuff over here. Wow. It's fantastic. That's my work up there too. Um, that um, this one's pretty cool. This is like a surfboard that a friend of mine made. It's like an Elias board with the old. It's the way the Hawaiians used to surf. So I did some wood burning on that. <laughs> uh, Tommy De Stefano's work on the spray paint. Bonnie Preziosi over here with the waves. Oh, we also have a stage in the gallery so we can have shows with music. My dad's, here's my dad's work right here too. Some of Tommy's stuff, uh, that one's mine. Some of my other ones. Then that. And I think that, oh yeah, and there's some stuff up there too. So here's like the view of the gallery. And there's Iggy, my little pup. Yeah, I'm allergic to dogs. So I have to, I have to get a dog that's hypoallergenic. So it, he's hypoallergenic, so it kind of worked out. <laughs> it works out that he doesn't shed. Well, that was cool that you, you, uh, you got a little friend there. Yeah, no, but he's I awesome. Now, does he go out in the mountains with you too? He is like the perfect little mountain dog. Like he has like the spirit of a big dog. So at first I was just putting him in a backpack because he was so tiny. Yeah. Uh, and that I was able to like, you know, hike up with him and then ride down with him in the backpack. And he loves it. Oh, cool. We, I was hiking the mountain like before it opened up and I was hiking and riding down with him. So that was super fun. So fun. Oh. I still haven't taken him out on my snow skate because uh, I feel like, what if I wipe out and I land on him? But I'm definitely like totally like <laughs> legit on my snowboard. So <laughs> uh, pretty soon he's going to be in between your legs, right? Well, I guess right? that he's, he's big now. Yeah, we're trying to get him to ride the snow skate. So we put him down. I didn't want to pressure him, you know, so I'm like, come on, get over here. So he does get on the snow skate. And I push him in the yard, you know, he's getting good. So you were talking about playing the bass. Yes. What what uh, what kind of music are you? Are you now are I, you, is that your boyfriend that you're playing yes. with? So yeah, like Scotty plays music for a living. He's a, been a musician his whole life. see we have a friend that's a drummer here so hopefully she's going to join and we'll see what we can come up with you know oh man but, you're just you're just living the living the dream the artist yeah dream, huh? yeah i mean like i just feel like i've always like tried to do what i love and i just do it you know what i mean i, I have like Other no excuses that? you know what i mean no excuses yeah. just do it try it doesn't work out 
try something different, right? Balance, right? Find that balance. balance. Yeah, absolutely. So quite literally <laughs> when yeah. you're surfing yeah. and you're snow skating. Yeah. <laughs> totally, totally. <laughs> so future future goals, future plans for the sh- for the gallery, for um, snow skating, for Oh man, surfing. like snow skating. Oh, dude, like let's start with that cuz you know that's like a passion of mine. I love it. I am like after last winter and having such a fun winter because we really had like the best I mean it was so fun like going to the park hanging out with the boys having people come from other parts of the country I mean the world to snow skate with us um it left me so pumped for like next year um so goals are to snow skate all the time right um I think I'm gonna start you know I think uh with Hovland we're gonna start doing the demos again so hopefully we'll be able to, I mean, I'll be able to do that. Maybe Colorado, Utah circle there. Um, just uh, the snow Come out to event. Boise. Yeah. All Come right. out to maybe. Bogus. Hey, if you can hook it up, if you oh, tell me, uh, you, you can <laughs> give me the contacts of the mountain. I'll set oh, it up. Geez. Yeah. I can try. I know that uh, yeah. they're, they're definitely like a lot of the lift ops and stuff up there are riding yeah. them. So. Man, there's definitely love to. definitely we stoke love out to. here that would be so sick so sick yeah so basically like the snow skating is not stopping not going anywhere it just keeps growing um the company's doing well uh the artists we're getting more artists to join to do different boards and stuff like that um i think that uh, hoveland is definitely uh stepping it up you know we're stepping it up in gear too we're doing some like uh testing some you know gloves and shoes maybe you know, like trying to expand and trying to accommodate for snow skating. It's kind of hard to find certain things that work really well for snow skating. And, and now we're feeling that, you know, there's people out there that are into it. So maybe it's worth, you know, exploring those areas. (laughs) Right. So yeah, with snow skating, things are going to be so awesome next winter. I'm so excited, you know, um, for the gallery, I'm hoping that things stay really going well here and I can keep it and maybe have someone open it up for me in the winter when I'm not here and then come back and just keep my studio here and mainly do all my work here in the summer and then just do commissions in the winter when I'm in Colorado and at home, you know, I don't need a studio there. Yeah. Cause you gotta, you got, you're going to be on the mountain. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. I'm going to be like snow skating. So, (laughs) and hopefully we'll get a lot of snow. I mean, I'm kind of bummed I left so early. Because they're still getting snow. I mean, they yeah, just what, had like, like a, yeah, like a like foot and a half. Like, foot, yeah, foot and I, half. I, yeah, it's seriously, like, I think Brett got like 14 inches this weekend, well, this well, past I think it, weekend. I think Denver got like six inches. So oh, that really? tells you what, yeah. you know. Yeah, it's <laughs> insane. Insane. If, I feel like winter was like super slow and then it dumped one day and then every weekend it started dumping. So it just became super fun. Yeah, we, and got then most, I we got most of our snow here after they closed the mountain. Right. That's the <laughs> so, worst, right? <laughs> it's so terrible. Terrible. But uh well, well, very cool. Now, what about surfing for this season? Uh, like, what's your what's your plan? My, do you, now, do you have a sponsor for, uh, for surfing? Or? Well, I don't have a sponsor for I mean, I, yeah, I guess you can say that. I mean, I've been surfing for a long time, so I get hooked up, you know what I mean? Um, surf tech. Low. I have uh, basically my favorite though. Um, I do work artwork with um, John Tuttle, Tuttle Surfboards. He's like a shaper for lost surfboards too. So he's my sponsor. And then uh, Brian Wynn from New Jersey, like uh, he's awesome. And I get boards from him whenever I need a board. It, he's my man to go to around here. He really knows how to shape for the waves around here. And I've actually taken his boards to California and they work really well too. So they're, they're not my sponsors, but they're kind of like my sponsors, I guess you could say, right? They hooked me up. You can give I have a shout out, up. right? Yeah, right? <laughs> shout out to them. Definitely. I mean, Brian's just amazing. And Johnny, he's just, you know, Tuttle, he's the man. I mean, he shapes for, you know, Kelly Slater. You know what I mean? He's, yeah. Wow. He's, a, he's legit. He's been like shaping for like 30 years, I think. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited like for summer just because around here, like they started dredging and like kind of killed all the, the, the spots, right? Oh, wow. Or now, yeah. What are they dredging for? Gold? Well, well with the storm, Go, the, the storms, people building homes, very expensive homes wow. right next to the beach. So, 
you know, they signed the contract for 50 years to dredge. Wow. Yeah. So I don't even know how many, I feel like when I was a kid, it started in, it just hasn't stopped. Right. So I always hear stories of how it used to be in the seventies, you know, blah, blah, blah. Eighties was so good. And now it's back to how it used to be because we had a huge storm, not enough time to dredge yeah. before yeah. summer, nice. all the sand came back. So, so this is going to be a good one. It's going to be a good one. I think it's solid. I mean, this used to be a, a you know, world-class wave back in the day. Wow. So we have good waves. Um, it may not be as consistent as other places, but when we get good waves, they're good for sure. So how do people get a hold of you? Um, Instagram, the best, Facebook. Uh, I don't know, like... Uh, website eventually, eventually. Website eventually. You know what? Even when I have my website, I feel people still go, they go check it out. But mainly it's like Instagram and Facebook that people reach out. Um, phone number, you know, that's also text messages also, also work. Um, a lot of the art collectors are older people, not super old, but you know what I mean? Older. So, um, they have a hard time with the social media sometimes. So they, they just got call a direct them. line. They got a direct yep. line right to you. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> and you got that thing wide open. That thing is wide open. Right. Call me. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, well, very cool, Joe. Thanks for coming on the show with me. Uh, thank you for having me. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. It's super fun. And, you know, thanks for, you know, being interested in what I'm doing. Thanks for joining us on Aqua Brain TV. Check us out at Brain Aqua. If you subscribe to us, here's a video we think you'll like. Till next time.